Welcome to the supplementary video learning materials for English 7 with Sir Mel. Video lesson number 1, Word Analogy Relationship. Just a quick friendly reminder, you can always pause the video at any time to think, reflect, or answer a question. Also, you can go back at any point in the lesson if you need time to understand the concept more. Let's begin. Let's observe the following phrases. 1. Wheel is to bike as tire is to car. 2. Small is to petite as large is to giant. 3. Wolf is to pack as bird is to flock. 4. Author is to story as poet is to poetry. What can you observe from these phrases? That's right! Different things are being compared. Let's take one phrase from our example. Wheel is to bike as tire is to car. What do you think is being compared here? Great! What's being compared here are wheel and bike and tire and car. How are they connected with each other? Let's look at the phrase again. Wheel is to bike as tire is to car. Let's analyze the first part of the phrase. Wheel is to bike. What do you think is the connection between wheel and bike? Awesome! Wheel is a part of a bike. Let's analyze the second part of the phrase. Tire is to car. What do you think is the connection between tire and car? Perfect! Tire is a part of a car. This means that the comparison being made in the phrase wheel is to bike as tire is to car is wheel and bike are both part of a whole. Part of a whole is one example of word analogy relationship or the logical connection of words. These are other examples of word analogy relationship. Synonyms. This type of relationship is established between the two words when they convey the same meaning. Example. Vacant is to empty. House is to home. Big is to huge. Ban is to prohibit. Antonyms. This type of relationship is established between the two words when they are opposite in meaning. Example, always is to never. Initial is to final. Weak is to strong. Chaos is to peace. Part-whole relationship. When one word of the pair represents a single part of the whole object given in other word of the pair, then it is called part and whole relationship. Example, fan is to blade, room is to house, keyboard is to computer, nose is to face. Pair relationship. When the two words form a genuine pair, then it is called a pair relationship. Example, pencil is to eraser, lock is to key, chair is to table, door is to window. Item category relationship. When one word of the pair represents the class of the other word, then it is called item and category relationship. Example, butterfly is to insect, shirt is to garment, chair is to furniture, lemon is to citrus. Quantity unit relationship. When one word of the pair gives the unit used for the representation of the quantity given in other word of the pair, then it is called quantity and unit relationship. Example, volume is to litter, area is to square meter, angle is to degree, energy is to joule. Worker-product relationship. 
When one word of the pair represents the working professionals and the other word of the pair represents their final product, then it is called worker and product relationship. Example, poet is to poem, producer is to film, author is to book, chef is to food. Finally, individual group relationship. When one word of the pair is the collective group of another word of the pair, then it is called individual and group relationship. Example, choir is to singers, class is to pupils, colony is to ants, people is to crowd. Can you guess the relationship of the words from our examples earlier? Let's try it out. Small is to petite, large is to giant. What word relationship do they have? Great, they are synonyms. Wolf is to pack, bird is to flock. Wonderful! Their individual group relationship. Author is to story. Poet is to poetry. Perfect. Their worker product relationship. Just a quick note you can go back at any point in the video lesson if you need time to understand the concept more. You've done a terrific job. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit like if you've learned something from this video and subscribe to the channel for more supplementary video learning materials for grade 7. This has been Sir Mel. See you next time!